get into some real dark ages, 19th century. That's not the dark ages, Dean. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 3, Episode 13, Long Distance Call. A little joke at the beginning is when Dean's talking about an exorcism and he's saying that it's Dark Ages, 19th century. That's it's not the correct time. This episode is actually one of my favorite episodes because of its monster. This monster is a great reflection of humanity's disconnect from itself through the incredible overuse of social media. And this episode came out in 2008. So imagine the prevalence this creature would have now. It would have even more means to communicate and to consume desperate, depressed, and weary travelers and weary people. And it is that power that gets into Dean's mind when he pretends to be his father, who Jeffrey Dean Morgan actually did come back as a voice. They actually give him a credit because he is talking to Dean as a disembodied voice and telling him that there is a means in which he can be saved. Every other person who's being affected by the monster in this episode is being asked to die, to kill themselves, to join their loved one, to join a family member or an ex-lover, to join them in the afterlife, to be with them. Whereas with Dean, it is a completely different tactic. It is trying to have himself sabotage himself. And I like that part of the episode. That's why this monster is so memorable to me. I do like also the heavy, heavy character development angle of this episode with the brothers talking with each other about this, the hopelessness of their situation, as well as Sam dealing with Dean's over indulgence into this possible avenue of saving himself even though Sam can't come to terms with believing it because of what's happening and while Dean thinks it is a reflection upon his relationship Sam's relationship with their father and there is a little bit of that underlining it is Sam just not being able to believe that something this good could be true there is a bit of humor in this episode too of the IT guy at the phone company which it's a bit over much now it's it's he's a pretty disgusting character to think about it now like I, I i don't know how he had to have a job that guy would be fired i see that maybe they're trying to make a uh, reference to newman from jurassic park but i don't know it's it's yeah clean up your desk man i like this episode a lot i like how they use grief as a true monster a true fear because it is something that we all go through it's something that none of us can escape utilizing that makes this monster one of the scariest monsters i feel in the show because everything he's doing is what actual people have done whether it's catfishing lying about their identity using their identity to then steal another person's identity and causing immense grief and pain. It's a realistic thing. He just so happens to be a monster. In the end though, I like this episode a lot. It's one of the reasons why I remember this season so much because of just how seemingly a very simplistic and non-threatening obvious idea is just so powerful and so corrupting to people in this episode. So in the end, I'm gonna give Long Distance Call a six out of seven. It's a really good episode. So now I asked you guys to give me your thoughts about this episode, so I'm gonna read off some of those comments now. So this is what you guys had to say, and the first one being, I feel like you could also be the lead guy of the glasses of the ghost facer. You have the face, the, the face. Uh, yeah, uh, you aren't the only one who said that. A few other people have said that. <laughs> Long Distance Call felt like an episode more fitting for season two in some respects, but it also was a clever way of bringing back Jeffrey Dean Morgan to voice as John. It's amazing after 12 years that this episode is more relatable in terms of social media than it was before. Definitely agree with that. This episode also does some foreshadowing for season 4 on how season uh, how Sam and Dean are going to start keeping secrets from each other. Yep, um, that was a little evident in season 1, but it would only last like an episode. This is definitely the start of that, I would definitely agree. I love the Karakata, I, I can't remember how to pronounce it properly, has fooled the Winchesters and the audience by impersonating Bobby, John Winchester, the boys themselves. I feel like this episode definitely is one of the most underrated in the whole season. Yes, uh, every time I watch it, I always, like, I, 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 in the times that I've rewatched it, it becomes more and more relatable. And, like, this was back with, like, freaking flip phones and email, and it is even more relevant now 
than it ever was before. Like this is a this is a monster that essentially gets stronger as time goes by. I'm glad the comments were favorable for the Ghost Face for Facers episode. I enjoy it. Can't say the same for a long distance call. Used to find the episode kind of boring, though now appreciate Dean's internal panic and grasping at straws as his years coming to a close. Uh, the end and offers a good brother moment or two. I I think that uh, I think that this episode's a little more than that personally because of one again the monster uh, as well as uh, before I I didn't get Dean's desperation when I watched this when I was younger when I was a teenager I could I kind of didn't get it as much but now having watched it now I understand Dean's desperation all the more just to try and believe in something he's at that point right now. We are two episodes away from the finale. I tend to forget about Long Distance Call, but it's a good episode. Past loved ones calling people to give them hope and find closure, only to be disappointed like Dean and the father trying to find the, his daughter's killer. The concept of the episode is also similar to a Japanese horror film series, One Miss Call. Both have ghosts or people from the dead calling a specific person close to them. I heard this, too. I heard about this, and... I'm not surprised, because Supernatural did take a few inspirations from a few different episodes this season, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street being one of them, um, One Missed Call. There was a few uh, very subtle references to different horror films and series in this season, and I, I'm, I'm happy they weren't on the nose. Thank you guys once again for giving me those thoughts. Now we're going on to another favorite episode of mine in this season, Time is on My Side. I swear the last three episodes of this season knock it out of the park or they're just going to get better so make sure to give me your guys' thoughts about time is on my side and i'll read those off in the next review anyways guys that's all for me hope you like this video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while but i'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie thanks to a successful kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.